In this video, we're going to get right into how I was approved for disability benefits on the first try without an attorney and with a little help from Nine Inch Nails, turned in a fine piece of paper with teeth. Hi, I'm Allison Strong, the radioactive patient, a music and mental health mashup. So disability is for people who have worked and who have paid into the system but can and no that longer makes work. getting approved for disability a very difficult thing to do because on one hand you have to be disabled but you have to be able to navigate the system let me go into what i did like i said i had a lot of inspiration from an album called with teeth and i had the help of some very wonderful and trustworthy people in my life without whom i might not have been able to get this done it was when i had the best, most rewarding, highest paying job in my career that disaster struck. My antidepressant, Wellbutrin, just friggin' collapsed. I was like the horse in Animal House. Have you ever seen that movie? And the horse just goes, oh, that was me. And it was like that every single morning I woke up and I and felt every like day I made died. a 45 minute drive up I-95 to my job listening to the Nine Inch Nails album with teeth over and over every day is exactly the same only hand mitt feeds i mean i listened to these songs over and over again and like screamed along with trent reznor and then it hit me the depression wasn't going to go away on its own i was tired of pulling a rubber smile on my face and wondering if everybody could tell that i was thinking about offing myself all the time and i decided I'm gonna apply for benefits. I got myself up one day and I drove my car down to the social security office. I took a number and I took a seat. And finally, when I talked to the nice disability people, they reassured me that their office would reach out and fax all my different doctors and get my medical records and stuff like that. And I thought to myself, you know, what would Trent Reznor do? What would Henry Rollins do? What would Scarface do? What would Tupac do? They would bring it. They wouldn't wait for someone else to fax. Can we get the records? Fax back. Faxes don't always go where they're supposed to. Oh, we didn't get the fax. No, no, that's not me. I gathered all my medical records going all the way back to 1989. And you know what else I had? I had a really, really good psychiatrist. And he said, okay, I'll help you get disability because not every doctor that says they're gonna help you get disability is gonna fill out the forms and sign off in a way that gets you disability. I've, I've heard stories about doctors who have promised to get people disability, and then when they fill out the form, they throw the patient under the bus. Okay, then also I had Michael, who I'm married to now, but I wasn't married to at the time. So anyway, what we did was we packed all the papers, all the medical records in a box. And we send it return receipt, which means they have to sign for it when they get it. And then you get the receipt in the mail that says that they got it, they signed for it, and you have the person's name. Three months after we shipped Social Security, the box, I got a phone call from a nice doctor and she asked me a lot of questions about my mental status. Could I balance my checkbook? Could I manage my medications? And I told her very honestly, I take my medicine exactly the way it's prescribed. At the end of the call, the lady thanked me. She said, we will not have to call our doctor and have you come down and see them because we have all the medical records that we need. The next thing I know, I've got a letter in the mail that says I've been approved for social security disability. And I called up my psychiatrist and I said, my God, we got it. And I could hear him smile over the phone. And that's the story of how I got disability on my first try without an attorney and with teeth. That's it for this week's edition of The Radioactive Patient. Please like, subscribe, throw me a comment, let me know what you would like to hear about next. I'm Allison Strong, and until then, ciao for now.